level of adaptability has not been affected. So the proper answer to this, and it's very important that you see it, is it's contingent. The, the, the answer itself is contingent on what properties are actually removed, right? What properties are removed? So that the relationship, obviously, is sensitive to its properties, right? This is, this, uh, this is a level deeper. I'll give you a, a ghetto example. If I were to say that um, both Tom and Mary, no, both Tom and Tim decide to wear red shirts, blue pants, white shoes. Red shirts, blue pants, white shoes. You can see how close they are in relation. Positive analogical relations, three for three. Tim decides to change his shirt from a red shirt and puts on a yellow shirt. Insofar as he changes his shirt from a red shirt to a yellow shirt, now the relationship isn't as strong as far as the adaptability, right? Because this might be a bit too complex, but that you should be able to see, right? Can adaptability decrease, right? So the adaptability, if we said that adaptability is the relationship between shared properties and one of those properties transforms to a negative property, then we lose, it decreases, right? Adaptability will decrease um, with a, will decrease with a decrease in negative, wait, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Adaptability will decrease with, no, right, right. It, so the first answer for, for part two is adaptability, it depends, but given the, the example that I've given you, right? Now I'll just be basic now, because I don't want to confuse myself and I don't want to confuse you. Right? Uh, very simple. Red, red shirt, red shirt, blue, blue, uh, white shoes, white shoes. Let's keep it super simple. Right? Now, can adapt <laughs> critical thing is no joke, even when you're lecturing it. Can adaptability decrease? We said that adaptability measures the what did we say before? Assume that adaptability increases increases with um, an increase in positive. Adaptability increases with an increase in, in positive. Okay, so we have positive relationships three. Positive equals three. Um, right. The question says, can adaptability decrease? And I think this is actually good that I'm working, to be honest with you, it's good that I'm working through it so that you can work through it too. Can adaptability decrease with a decrease in negative analogical relations? So if this changes and he puts on a, a purple, a purple shirt, Right, we're going to increase the negative, right? This is increasing negative relations. So, insofar as we increase negative relations, which is number three, insofar as we increase negative analogical relationships, adaptability decreases, right? So, number three is true, right? Number three, and I hope you see that, right? Number three is true. Right? Number three is true. Adaptability decreases, adapt, so there's an inverse relationship, right, between adaptability and negative um, analogical relations. The more negative relationships we have is the less adaptive they are. So I change my shirt from red to purple. Then I change my jeans from blue to white. Then I change my shoes from white to black. I have a very high negative analogical relationship and I have a very low level of adaptability. So there would be an inverse relationship between adaptability and um, adaptability and uh, negative analogical relations. I gotta be on my A game to give a lecture like this myself because I gotta work through it. So yeah, that's, that's, that's right. So the question is, can adaptability, number two then, can adaptability decrease, right? So let's go back to this example. So we have red, blue, and white. Can adaptability decrease with a decrease in negative analogical relations and why? And I guess the answer, it is contingent, but we'll do, we'll switch it, right? So um, let's say it was black, what did I say? It was black, um, black, green, and uh, black, green, and uh, yellow, right? Let's just say I'm wearing yellow, green, and black. He's wearing red, black. You can see that. 
there's low levels of adaptability here because there isn't anything that's really shared. What I'm going to do now is decrease, and number two, I'm going to decrease the level of negative relations. So that means I want to increase the level of positive relations, right? So I put on a red shirt. Well, that's not going to decrease adaptability. That's going to increase adaptability. So number two is wrong, right? Number two is false, right? It's not true. Number two is false. You got to work sort of backwards through that, right, in order for that to make sense. Can adaptability decrease with a decrease in negative analogical relationships? The answer is no, right? For number two, it's no. For number three, it's true or yes. Okay, so that is definitely not simple at all. That's pretty, pretty deep at that level. It's important that you understand how, we, how I arrived at that. It's not an easy thing to go through. I didn't promise that this was going to be an easy lecture series, right? Even for me, and I designed the questions and I designed the game, even for me, I have to, while I'm going through this, you know, keep on to try and make sense of this, right? But what we recognize is um, you, have to, you have to problem solve. You should arrive at exactly the same answers that I arrived at, right, for two and three. If you haven't arrived at those answers, then you need to, you need to work through this. I, unfortunately, I can't make it any simpler than what I've just done because of the nature of, uh, the, nature of the analysis. It is a complex analysis, right? But I think that's clear, uh, and I, maybe I will return back to it. And then lastly, number four, if adaptability decreases as the number of negative analogical relations increase, which is what three says, which group is the least adaptive, adaptable and why? Right? Which group out of these groups right, is the least adaptable and why? Well, it depends, right? Which group is the least adaptable? Well, these two share properties but they have one negative analogical relationship. And we've seen in number three that um, can adapt, it's true. We've seen that number three is true, right? Adaptability decreases with an increase in negative analogical relationships. Well, imagine that this generates, here we have a P1, here we have a P2, we have shared, we have P3 here. If gen this generates P1 and P1, it's adaptable. If it generates P2 and P2, it's adaptable here but not here, right? Um, there's a P2 here. If it generates P3, it's adaptable here and here, but not here. If it generates two randoms itself, it just remains neutral. And so far as it remains neutral, it's not negative. So it was just like before with beta, it depends on what, it's contingent, right? It's contingent, but we see that this is the source, right? It has, the answer has to be delta because there's ambiguity in what, it would generate, and you would have, I'm not going to do this, you would have to, and this is where statistical sort of analysis would come in, it is to know, I didn't arbitrarily divide this into four groups, four segments each, because it's divisible easily by 100% each sort of square representing 6.25%, the total of all four, all 16 squares equaling 100% so that you could use this to assess. Um, so with respect to the analysis, um, at least at this level, contingently, I would say uh, delta. That's not so much what's at stake, what's really, really important, because there's a lot of contingency that falls in, in that answer, and I'm not gonna get at that level. Now, what's important for you to understand is the answers to two and three. You really have to understand the answers to two and three, and I'll just go through it one last time so that it's undeniably clear, right? We have Someone wearing a red shirt, someone wearing a red shirt. Someone wearing blue pants, someone wearing blue pants. Somebody wearing white shoes, somebody wearing white shoes. I decide to change my shirt. So wait, wait first, we, first, we see that there are three properties that are shared. We remember that we are defining adaptability as an increase in the number of positive relations, right? Adaptability is defined as an increase in the number of positive relations. So we have an adaptability of three, right? I change my shirt. My shirt now is black, right? And what ends up happening is we have a negative relationship. So my negative is increasing, right? Increase in negative Right? 
increase my negative, I was wearing blue jeans, but now I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing uh, purple jeans. I was wearing white shoes, but now I'm wearing green shoes. My negative relationships, they don't share any of these properties, increase. My adaptability decreases. A D A P T. So as my negative relationships increase, my adaptability decreases. As number three, adaptability decreases with an increase in negative analogical relationships for precisely that reason. If I work the other way around and I put my shoe back on from green to white, right, now what's happening? The negative relationships decrease. Right? I don't have as many negative relationships. There were three, now there are two. There were two, now there's only one. There's one, now there's only, now there's none. So my negative relationships have reached zero, and now my adaptability is back up. So that's the definitely deeper, definitely deeper, no question about it. This is not a series that you can just sort of breeze through it. You might have to go through this a few times in order to make sense. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop there, and then I'm going to come back and uh, discuss meta properties.